The first time in history the Atari Lynx, a, a competitor for the original Game Boy, is appearing on a Nintendo Portable. Six epics titles are, or is it epics? I always call them epics. The epics collection is bringing six Atari quote-unquote classics to the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, it's already out right now. It's like 12 bucks. So like two bucks a game. Four bucks a game if you only like three of these. Your mileage may vary as with any collection of varied games such as this because you're likely not to be a fan of every game in the collection. First up, we have California Games, which features Hacky Sack, Roller Skating, Frisbee, and MDX Bike Racing. Now, only one mini game out of this collection I remember is a Hacky Sack, and I remember I played it a lot on the Commodore 64 and I hated it. The controls didn't make any sense. I don't know about the Atari Lynx version. California Games, to me, is not really a positive for this collection. Next up is Electro Cop, which shows off the scaling of the Lynx really well. Kind of like a Robocop meets Alien. You're going around shooting a lot of, like, squishy, gooey, organic aliens. This is the first shooter, if you don't count Electro Cop. This is the first plane shooter, I should say. Blue Lightning. It shows off the scaling of the Atari Lynx really well as well. Also, it's kind of in the same style as uh, Afterburner. This is one that I wanted to play, like when I first saw it, like on demo, I wanted to try it out. I never got a chance to. Another shooter, this time a 2D side-scrolling shooter, Gates of Zendikon. Now this one features levels that are taller than one screen high, which uh, you may or may not like that. To me, it's like I wanted to scale everything down just a little bit. Fit it, on, fit it on one screen. Now, we got, now the first action adventure title, Todd's Adventures in Slime World, which also saw a release on the Sega Genesis, is a... Uh, pits you against a, a slime world really i mean just i mean slimy disgusting aliens and everything you got to power i believe you got to repair your ship and power it back up and get off this planet it's got a zip popping mini game i believe or that may have been the sega genesis for zarla mercenary is another scrolling shooter that rounds out this collection this is an overhead scrolling shooter with lots of action now if you notice out of all these games three are scrolling shooters of some sort four are shooters if you count electrocop so out of six games, at least 50% are shooters of some type. Like I said, your mileage may vary. You know, watch them. If you're not, a, if, you know, honestly, if you're not a fan of the Atari Lynx or retro gaming, you may want to just skip this collection. Because uh, I don't believe there's anything modernized with these games. For fans of the, of the Atari Lynx, I mean, you, you can't really go wrong. I mean, this, this, these are some of the better titles for the system that were not licensed. Like, uh, it would have been nice to see different games, but this is an, an Epics collection. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like I say, it's available now on Nintendo Switch eShop, like 12 bucks.